James Joyce arrived in Trieste on the 20th of October, 1904, together with his partner Nora Barnacle, to teach English to the local middle classes, write some great literary works, and enjoy the life of a lively Mediterranean harbor city. Exactly 100 years later, on the 20th of October 2004, the Comune di Trieste, together with the University of Trieste, inaugurated the Museo Joyce Museum. The museum presents visitors with a wide range of information and material, in printed, digital, and video form, on the almost 11 years which the author spent in the city, on the various flats where he lived, on the places he used to frequent, churches and taverns, newspaper offices, villas and brothels, on his family. Both his children, Giorgio and Lucia, were born in Trieste, and his brother Stanislas and two of his sisters joined him there, and naturally on the great literary works which he wrote or started while here. These comprise the portrait of the artist as a young man, exiles, and the short poem Giacomo Joyce, his only piece set in Trieste, his masterpiece Ulysses, the first three chapters of his masterpiece Ulysses were conceived and written in Trieste, from where he asked his friend and colleague, Italo Spavo, the favor of bringing them with him to Paris, where he moved in 1919. His friendship with Spavel, well documented in the letters they exchanged, was one of the most meaningful relationships which Joyce entertained during his years in Trieste, so much so that the Triestine writer is thought by many to have been one of the models for the protagonist of Ulysses, Leopold Bloom. In honor of the latter, every year on the 16th of June, as is customary in Dublin, the Museo Joyce Museum celebrates the Bloomsday, that is, an event dedicated to Joyce and his work on the day on which he made the whole of his masterpiece Ulysses take place. Mm -hmm.